Now, to you, I uh, might look like the same headgear, you know, you know, minus the cut up arm, but I'm gonna get to that. How are you different, you might be asking? You're looking at the next Earl of Gloucester. <laughs> Whoa, how did this happen? What about Edgar? Nah, sit back. You're about to find out. <laughs> so you know, I'm sitting at home, right? Like any other day, and Curran comes to the door. You know, he tells me that the Duke of Cornwall and Regan are gonna be at the castle tonight. So, you know, as he's leaving, you know, all I'm thinking is this weaves itself perforce into my business. I wait until I see Gloucester approaching from the distance, and then I call to Edgar. Oh, sir, fly this place. Intelligence is given where you hid. I tell him, in cunning, I must draw upon you. And I tell him, draw, seem to defend yourself. And without hesitation, a noble Edgar draws, just as I asked him. I yell to father and tell Edgar to run when it strikes me. Some blood drawn on me would be good opinion. So then right then and there, I run my own blade across my arm, making it look like Edgar with his prepared sword charged on my unprovided body, launch mine arm. When Gloucester finally reached me, I spun the story how Edgar attempted to persuade me to murder your lordship. And when I said no, he came at me with his own sword and then suddenly fled. Now, you know, I started acting a little bit at this point, really milking how mean Edgar was to me, right? You know, he's... <sighs> calling me things like an impossessing bastard. <sighs> Just like that, my idiot father falls for it. From afar, we hear the Duke's trumpets, and Gloucester begins planning on getting the Duke involved in the hunt for Edgar. And if that wasn't good enough, it's right then that he told me I'd beat Earl. I'm gonna be the next Earl. Anyway, so, not long after Cornwall shows up, he starts asking what happened with Gloucester. And so, you know, Gloucester, he's showing off my arm, you know, telling him how I beway his practice and receive this hurt, striving to apprehend him. Now, this little story impresses the Duke so much, he asked me to be his right hand. So, of course, I'm all like, I shall serve you, sir. Truly, however else. And now I'm here. The next Earl of Gloucester, and a trusted advisor of the Duke. But you know what? I think I can do better. This whole, you know, next Earl of Gloucester thing. Doesn't really have the nicest ring to it.